Visco. Hi, welcome to Visco channel. In this video, I'm going to showcase a new access control terminal from HiVision DS-K1T321. It has multiple authentication methods including face recognition, fingerprint, card, and PIN. Okay, let's look at what is inside the box. There's a terminal of this power adapter, quick start drive, wires, and a mounting plate. Let's look at the terminal. It has a slim design, so it is suitable to be installed at a narrow space. And it has a physical keypad and doorbell. It also has a backup battery slot for the backup battery and it supports RS-485 Besides that, it also has optional Wi-Fi support One thing special about this terminal is that it has AP mode That means we can enable AP mode on this terminal Then we can connect to the SSID through our phone and we can do configuration at our phone Alright, now let's look at how we can configure this terminal through our phone. So I have powered up the terminal and we can use our phone to connect to the Wi-Fi from this terminal and the password is shown here. Alright, now I'm on my phone. So let's connect to the Wi-Fi from terminal. Select the Wi-Fi and key in the password on the terminal screen. Usually it will direct us to the login page but in case it doesn't, we need to check the notification. Okay, continue anyway. Now I'm at the activation page. So we need to key in the password to activate the device. We can set the password that we want. Okay, tap on the activation. I'm going to skip this. And here we key in our email address. We can select our language, we can enable DHCP or we can also manually set the IP address. So I'm going to use DHCP for now. Next, I'm going to select all for the picture configuration and complete. Alright, so the terminal activation is done. Alright, at here we can remotely control the door, we can unlock or we also can close the door remotely. So next, we also can add person here by tapping on the person management. Tap on the add icon, key in the employee ID, key in the name, and we can select the user role. We can add face at here as well. We also can add fingerprint here, but keep in mind that we cannot set our fingerprint on the phone. We need to set it on the terminal. So we can also add card here by entering the card number and save as you can see a person is created so go back okay we also can do smart configuration at here like face recognition and fingerprint parameters okay we also can set authentication setting at here door parameters as well for the network we can enable wi-fi here and we also can enable hack connect here at the bottom, we can check the model of this terminal, the serial number and the firmware version. Okay, so this is it for the interface. Alright, now let's test if it is working. I'm going to scan my face. Okay, it's working. And I'm going to scan my fingerprint. It is also working. So that's it for this video. I hope you can get some information from this video. Thank you.